first let's install the create the virtual machine then after um, just choose new then name the virtual machine mine I'm just calling it pfSense just to be easy for me to identify remember this is part of a lab series where I'll be showing you how to create your own cyber range and right now we're just installing the uh, pfSense router I'm just choosing my um, cluster but yours may be different I didn't name that properly but it works just leave uh, that one the same way and here you want to choose other and free BSD 64 bit then click next otherwise um, yeah there we go and right here you want to add four network adapters so that um, it matches our previous video where I was showing you how to do that so just do an add new um, network adapter and then I'll connect that to whatever network you you have in this case I'm just connecting to IT management and from here I also need to be able to add the ISO and point it to the CD-ROM of the machine and I actually uh, haven't downloaded it yet so I just go to the PFSense website and um, you'll see the latest version is at this point is 2.44 I want to choose AMD 64-bit and using choosing CD I don't mind where the mirror is really my internet is fast and should be good so just hit download just a general reminder 64-bit AMD once you download it make sure you unzip the GZ file then uh, from there you want to make sure that you upload that to your data store at this point you see there's an upload option in your data store once you upload it come back to the installation you usually can do this before but I'm just pointing it out right now then um, choose the data store point to the ISO and it um, looks like I'm having an error but after a couple of tries succeeded and then just hit finish after you're uh, satisfied with all the options that you have and from there you should be able to just power on the PFSense virtual machine and the virtual machine should um, uh, just come up but make sure you check make sure that uh, the data store uh, CD is checked in the settings as you can see there right click then you go to file edit and you see that after powering on the machine and if it's checked properly you just have to go through the regular uh, setup at this point this looks pretty much like uh, any Linux OS installation there's nothing really special you can just choose one and hit enter then from there the installation will just begin this takes time so um, do the power of editing skipped most of that and this is the next screen that you'll see just want to accept that hit enter and when you accept this uh, you're just like, accepting the terms then choose the first option which is install I'm taking all the defaults here but you might want to choose a language if it's different but I'm just going with the, even the US uh, map then I'm going through the guided disk setup that is the easiest option so far that I'm seeing and um, from there the installation will continue again and um, at this point you're just writing uh, the OS to your drive and I'm just going to skip a few of those options through editing just to save us time 
and uh, from there you see the extraction of the distribution that's just basic uh, Linux stuff and um, so again just as a reminder while this is installing is uh, this is part of a lab series we need pfSense so we can have a router and right here you can just uh, say yes or no I, I just suggest that you say no but I'm just showing you that if you say yes this is what you see unless if you know what you're doing just choose no here so you can uh, keep going and from there looks like the installation is complete and we can reboot so that's pretty much the basic installation of pfSense in a VMware ESXi 6.5 or 6.7 <clears throat> by this time we have a fully uh, installed pfSense it will reboot itself make sure that you go and disconnect the CD if you haven't and after it reboots, we'll be ready to set up um, the next phase, which is creating um, the WAN and LAN, and also assigning interfaces. But um, I'll be creating another video on how to set up VLANs between PFSense and VMware ESXi. VMware ESXi uh, is already set up. I have a video on that where I will show you how to create uh, port groups and assign um, VLAN tags or VLAN uh, numbers. And if you have that one set up, in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to connect those VLANs to VLANs in uh, PFSense. So just remember to subscribe to this channel and more co content will be coming and um, we'll be connecting this PFSense router to all of our four VLANs, that is home operations, IT management, and they are other villain. So just subscribe and remember, this is going to be a good fun lab.